English speaking course. What do you want? Hey, Jim, are you free now? I think so. I don't have any homework to do now, so yeah. Could you do me a favor? Sure thing. What do you want? I have homework for my business class. That is to conduct an interview about fast food. Would you mind if I ask you a few questions? No, go ahead. Okay, so what is your favorite fast food restaurant? McDonald's, I guess. Why do you like it? Well, because of the varied menu and the comfortable and passionate decor. Now let me check it once again. Dad! Dad! What's wrong, Lucy? I want to write a letter to Grandma. Ah, how lovely you are. What do you want to write? I want to tell her about my grades at school. And I will visit her this summer vacation. It's going to be a nice letter. Let me help you write. Okay, we're done with the letter. Can I send it now? <laughs> no, you have to put it in an envelope. And you will need to write down your and her address. I don't know Grandma's address. Let me help you. Here, write down this address. All right, now let me check it once again. And then we can send it to Grandma, right? Yeah. Stop kidding. Are you going to join the party tonight, Adam? Which party? Alex's birthday party. You didn't know about it? No, I didn't. But I don't think I can go. You better go, man. It's going to be super fun. And maybe you can find a girlfriend there. Stop kidding, man. Seriously, bro. There will be a lot of pretty girls at the party. Nah. Nobody's gotta pay attention to me. Why don't you give it a try? No, thanks. I already have a plan. Oh, come on. Are you sure? I think we're getting lost. I agree. I don't know where we are right now. Don't worry. Just follow the map, okay? Are you sure? What if we get stuck in this forest forever? No way. Trust me, okay? What if we meet any wild animals? Like lions. Oh no! They're gonna eat us. Stop it. Just follow me and don't say anything else. Hey, look. I can see the village. See, I told you. All we have to do is believe in the map. Okay, we trust you now. No, I don't want to. Jenny, do you have a moment? What's the matter, Luke? Last night, I checked your file, and I saw that you haven't finished the report. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry for that. I couldn't meet the deadline. Don't worry, we still have today to finish it. You'd better work on it now before we submit it to our boss. Should we just give up? Listen, Jenny, do you want to work overtime? No, I don't want to. And do you want to be scolded by our boss? Definitely no. That's why we cannot give up, Jen. Let's work hard and go home early today. Got it. Mm -hmm. 
That's strange. Are you in your room, Sarah? Yes, Mom. Can you check for me whether there is any necklace there? I think I dropped it in your room. I'm looking for it now, Mom. Sorry, but I couldn't find anything. That's strange. I remember that I put it on your table. I just checked my table and there's no necklace, Mom. That's so weird. How about the bathroom? Maybe you took it off when you were changing clothes. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Let me check it. Ah, oh, found it. Thank God. Can you show me your answer sheet? I've just distributed to everybody a question sheet and an answer sheet. Please fill in your answer in 15 minutes. Don't forget to read the question as well. Hey, Mike. What? Can you show me your answer sheet? There are some parts that I'm not sure about. I'm sorry, but I can't. If Mr. Henry knew this, he would give us an F. Dustin, Mike, are there any problems? No, no Mr. Mr. Henry. Please keep quiet and do your work. Okay. I'm sorry to interrupt you. So, I just finished discussing the main goals of this project. Excuse me. Yes, please. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I have a question about the deadline for this project. Oh, don't worry. I haven't mentioned the deadline yet. After talking about the marketing strategies, I'm going to move to that part. Thank you. You're welcome. Before I move on to the next slide, does anyone have any other questions? I'm sorry. Could you explain the goals again for me? I didn't really focus. No problem. I will talk about the goals once again for everyone. Allow me. Hey, Dylan. I am here. Hey, how are you doing? I'm okay. You? I'm pretty good, I guess. Oh, let me introduce you to my wife, Linda. Nice to meet you, sir. It's a pleasure to meet you. Can I call you by your first name? Yes, please feel free to do so. I heard a lot about you, Mrs. Linda. James sometimes mentions how wonderful you are. Oh, come on. Just sometimes, okay? Ha. <laughs> You don't have to be shy. James always mentions how wonderful you are. Stop it. Stop it. Wow, that surprised me. Will you go there or shall I? All right, we can end our lessons today. Don't forget to clean the classroom before you leave. It's our duty today, right, Nancy? Yeah, we have to borrow the vacuum first. Where can we find it? At the security office on the first floor, I guess. Do you want to go there, or should I? Let me do it. While I'm gone, you can arrange the desks. Okay, got it. I've got the vacuum now. I've also finished arranging the desks. Maybe I can do the vacuum and you can clean the desks. Sure thing. Let's do it. What do you think?
What's the date of today? It's the 6th of July. Oh, wait. Isn't this Sunday Sandra's birthday? Sunday is the 10th of July. Ah, yes. We can go to the shopping center and buy a gift for her. What do you think? I'll go with it. Do you know what she likes? I guess she likes listening to U.S., U.K. music. Then we can go to the CD shop to buy her a vinyl record. Fantastic. I believe she's going to love it. Let's go. What are your hobbies? Are you reading books, Tracy? That's right. I'm reading a manja. What is manja? Oh, it's like comics, but it comes from Japan. Ah, I see. Is it your hobby to read manja? You can say so. And I also read sci-fi novels. Hey, cool. I love sci-fi, but I tend to watch sci-fi movies. What are your hobbies? I mean, other hobbies than movies. Hmm, let me think. I enjoy listening to music in my free time. Besides, I also love partying. Partying? I love parties, too. Talking about partying, I heard that there will be a farewell party before we graduate. Yeah, I also heard about it. We should definitely go. What did you say? Today is going to be a great day. Yeah, we finally have time to hang out together. What do you want to do today? I heard that there's a new cafe opening in town. Want to check it out? Sorry, what did you say? I said there's a new coffee shop in town. Oh, really? Yeah, we can go there first if you want. Okay, let's go. I want to take a lot of photos with you. It's a great idea because this coffee has a city view. City view? That's the best. I bet we're going to have a lot of nice photos. What do you need? I'm going camping with my class this Saturday, Mom. Wonderful. But I don't know how to prepare for the trip. All right, so what do you need? My teacher only said that please prepare well. That's all. <laughs> don't worry. You have me. I'll help you to prepare. Do I need to bring a lot of food, Mom? It's a good idea, but you will need other things as well. How about sleeping bags and pillows? Oh, yeah, I will definitely need those things. Please write it down so that you won't forget. I think I'm going to bring some water bottles as well. You're going to need a flashlight as well. Oh, yes, you were right. Let me write it down. What do you want to do? Summer is coming. What do you want to do? Me? I think I will go swimming. Are you going to the swimming pool? No, I will go to the beach. Wow, but there aren't any beaches here. I intend to travel to Hawaii with my family. Hawaii is paradise on Earth, right? Exactly. You can relax and enjoy the Hawaiian culture. One day, I will definitely make enough money to go to Hawaii. What are you up to? Hey, Luna. What are you up to? I'm just making a shopping list. Shopping list? Are you going to the supermarket? Yeah. Want to join? I'm not sure what I'm going to buy, but... Okay, I will go with you. 
I heard that there's going to be a lot of discounts today. Really? Yeah, especially the vegetables and fruits. Great. I'm going to buy some watermelons. How about you? What are you going to buy? Apart from vegetables and fruits, I think I will buy some frozen food. What kind of frozen food are you going to buy? A lot, I guess. Sausages, pizza. Oh, ice cream as well. What do you want? Today is your birthday, Lucas. What do you want? I can buy everything for you. How rich you are. <laughs> Honestly, I just want to hang out with you today. You don't have to buy me anything. Are you sure? You're going to regret it if you don't receive my gifts. Okay, okay. I think I want a pair of shoes. All right, let's go to the shoe shop now. What color do you like? I love red. How about this pair? It's too big, I guess. Will this one be better? Wow, it looks so cool. I'm going to choose it. Sure, let me pay for you. You're so generous. What's your email address? Oh, I was so sleepy this morning that I missed economics class. Wait, you didn't come to class. Yeah, I couldn't catch the bus. Don't worry. I guess the professor always records the lecture. Do you know where we can find the recording? Let me send it to you. What's your email address? It's lynda at gmail.com. All right, I've just sent it. I got your email. Thank you so much, Jane. You're welcome. Please try to come to class next time. Will do. What is your job? How have you been, Bob? I've got a job and I will start working next week. Wow. Congratulations. What is your job? I'm a sales assistant at a small company. Oh, really? I thought you would become a teacher. Well, I love talking and sharing experiences with people, and becoming a teacher is one of them. But after all, I feel like I'm not suitable for that job. So how did you get your current job? Well, I just found the company's job description on the internet. Then I thought, wow, interesting. So I applied for the job, had an interview, and got accepted. This is your destiny. I believe so. What's your phone number? Hello, I'm Joan. I'm looking forward to being your deskmate through this semester. Nice to meet you, Joan. I'm Chloe. I hope that we can become friends and study together. Do you want to exchange our phone numbers? Sure. What's your phone number? Mine is 124-859-3850. All right. Got it. Let me try to call you now real quick. Oh. I received your phone call. This is your phone number, right? Yeah, please save my number. Do you have any social media accounts? Mm, I only use Instagram and Facebook. Me too. Let's exchange our accounts as well. If there's anything that we miss in class, we can tell each other. Sure thing. She is not my best friend. Hey, Jennifer, are you going to Sally's birthday party tonight? 
Is that tonight? Yeah, can you go? I was thinking about it, are you? Yeah, I heard it's gonna be a lot of fun. Oh. Well, I think you should go. It's your best friend's birthday, after all. No, she isn't my best friend. What happened? She slandered me. Although she apologized, we can't be good friends anymore. That's really bad. Even Steven. Thank you so much. If you hadn't helped me last week, I wouldn't have finished the job on time. Oh, it's nothing. We are friends and colleagues, aren't we? And you often help me. It was such a difficult project. Without your help, I wouldn't be able to do it alone. So I have to say thank you anyway. I'm glad to have helped. If there's anything else I can do, please let me know. I will. And may I offer you a meal as a thank you? Oh, just buy me a drink and we're even, Stephen. Okay, so tomorrow morning I'll buy you a glass of Starbucks. Great. Well, I have to go. See ya. See ya! You have a lot of explaining to do. Where have you been? Do you know what time it is? I'm sorry, Dad. I lost track of time. All right. I have something to tell you, and you have a lot of explaining to do. First, tell me why you're late. I forgot my phone and had to go back to class to get it. That still doesn't explain why you're late, but okay. Now, I want you to explain this. What's the matter, Dad? Why did you get an F in literature? I didn't study enough. I'm disappointed in you. You won't be allowed to go out until you pass the test. Feel free to call me anytime. We haven't been apart for so long. I'll miss you. Yeah, I'll miss you too. It's just a year. I promise we'll stay in touch. We can have video calls every week. Yeah, feel free to call me anytime. Sure, maybe you could come visit me while I'm there. I wish I could, but you know I need to finish my studies. <coughs> yeah, right. So we'll be in touch for sure. Definitely. Well, I have to go now. I need to pack my bags and get ready. Thanks for having me and showing me around. It was nothing, really. Don't forget to let me know when you get there, okay? Will do. I'll text. Now get going before you miss your flight. Take care and see you again soon. Bye. Bye, Rachel. I love my job. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How about you? I am fine. So in which company are you working? I am working at Golden Hotel. What is your post? I am in the security department. That's great. Yeah, I really love my job. Why? Yeah, I like that it's mostly a stable job with opportunities even in a bad economy. I agree with you. Describe yourself in one word. Welcome to PG Group, David. I'm Tom. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. How are you today? I am doing well. And yourself? Great, thanks. So, David, shall we stop? Yeah, sure. First of all, let me introduce myself. 
I am the manager of our engineering department here, and we have an open position. Yes, sir. I read about the position on your website, and I think I am a good fit. Great. So which school did you graduate from? I was a student at Oxford University, and I graduated with a bachelor's degree in computer science. Amazing. Yeah, I've also worked as a computer lab tutor in school for about two years. Why are you looking for a job? The job should definitely help me grow in my career. I'd be happy to learn and develop while working in a company as passionate as yours. So can you describe yourself in one word? Diligent. Very well. Now, do you mind working overtime? No, I don't mind. Okay, do you have any questions for me? No, I think I have a pretty good understanding of the requirements. I hope to have the opportunity to work for you. I can tell that you are a good candidate. Expect to hear from us within a week or so about the job. Thanks, sir. Have a nice day. It feels like ages ago. Well, hello there, Diana. Wow, long time no see. It is great to see you again. Linda, hello. What a coincidence. I haven't seen you in ages. It is great to see you. Yeah, right. It feels like ages ago. So what brings you to Manchester? Are you just visiting? I travel with my boyfriend. Anyway, really happy to see you here. Yeah, it's a small world. We must keep in touch. Do you still have my mobile number? No, I lost my phone. Here is my new number. Okay, I will save your number. I've got to go back to work, but give me a ring so we can arrange dinner sometime. For sure. Take care. Bye. You're important to me. Hey, listen, now that our anniversary is just a few days after, why don't we plan to go somewhere? That's a great idea! I want to go on that dream vacation you've always promised me. You mean, to Europe, right? Yes, right! You still remember? Of course, I know you want to fly first class and stay at five-star hotels and of course, I booked a plane ticket to Europe. That's so sweet! Baby, you know you are important to me and you matter to me in every way. I can do anything for you. So sweet. I love you. He's away, right? What happened? You look so sad. Yesterday, my bag was stolen. Gosh, that's bad. That's right. I left my car keys, phone, and wallet in there. So how did you get home? I borrowed a girl's phone and called my husband. He's on his way. Have you reported it to the police? Yes, I have. I hope you find your bag. Me too. Have you ever tried this? Wow, this is so delicious. This is apple pie, right? Yes, right. Have you ever tried this? Yeah, I've had this before. Well, you know, apple pie originated in England. Oh, really? Yeah. Apple pie is an unofficial symbol of the United States and one of its signature comfort foods. Can you teach me to make this? Of course. Great. Don't forget to practice your English every day to improve your English level. 
Watch the video for one week. Try to think and speak in English every time. Listen and repeat the lesson out loud to improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like, share, and comment. Click here for more useful videos.